What's up everybody, welcome back. Moving on to the next question, this is a work problem. So the height of a rocket above the ground is modeled by h of t equals negative 4t squared plus 28t, where h is in meters, height is in meters, and the time is in seconds. And we have a couple of questions to answer here. Now before you get into answering any questions, my suggestion is always to take the function they give you and to graph it. So if we were to graph this here, we'd have time on this axis and then the height on this axis. And we got negative 4t squared plus 28t. Now this here is actually easy to factor, right? If we could take out a negative 4t and we'd be left with what? Negative 4t squared divided by negative 4t is just t. And then 28 divided by negative 4t is negative 7. So from here, you can tell the intercepts are what? t equals 0 and t is equal to 7 because t minus 7 equals 0. When you isolate for t, you end up getting 7. So we're at 0 here and then we're at 7 over here. And notice that this parabola is opening down because the a value is negative and that makes sense, right? Because the rocket's going to go up and then it's going to come back down. Now notice that uh, this quadratic here had no c value, right? It's usually ax squared plus bx plus c. So notice there's like a plus zero here. And whenever there's a c value of zero, I've mentioned this before, one of the intercepts is always going to be zero because you're always going to be able to factor out an x or a t. So you know it's always going to start on the ground. If there is a uh, c value, so let's say there was like 10, then it would be starting up here at 10, the y-intercept or the h-intercept in this case would be 10, right? So it's usually like a ball thrown off a roof or something like that. But whenever the c value is zero, one of the intercepts for the quadratic is always zero because you could factor out a t. There's no c value there. All right, so this is how it's looking. And then uh, notice that we can calculate what this maximum point is because the maximum point is going to happen halfway in between the intercepts. So 0 plus 7 divided by 2 gives us 3.5. Then if we want to get that max site, we just have to plug in 3.5 for t. So we'd have 3.5 t or uh, 3.5 squared plus 28 times 3.5. So negative 4 times 3.5 squared plus 28 times 3.5. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting 49 here. So the rocket is reaching a max height of 49. So this point here, 3.5 seconds and 49 meters. So now that we have this uh, fairly specific graph, so with these types of questions, I always recommend you get the intercepts uh, and then you always get the max point. And sometimes here, when you're dealing with time, uh, it's not going to be an intercept of zero. Like I said, if it's being thrown off a roof or something, there's going to be a y-intercept up here. But always get whenever the rocket, the ball, whatever it is you're modeling hits the ground, and always get the max point. And then from there, once you have that, then you could get into answering the uh, word problems. Also, another point I want to make, equations aren't always going to be in this format here. Right, So this could have been given maybe in vertex form, which would be nice because we get the vertex, but then we would have to find the intercepts. We would have to expand it and then maybe factor it or throw it in the quadratic formula. It's always not going to factor smoothly either. Sometimes this number here, when the rocket hits the ground, the ball hits the ground, that might be a decimal number. So you may have to throw it in the quadratic formula. So just be aware of that. But no matter what they give you, always try to get the intercepts and the max point. And if it's being thrown off something, then the y-intercept, so you get the height of what it's being thrown off of. So always make the diagram first before getting into the word problems. So number one, how long is the rocket in the air? Well, from zero seconds to seven seconds, that's when it hits the ground. So the answer to number one is seven seconds. 
what is the max height of the rocket? 49 meters reaches the max height at this point. State the domain and range. Now, because this is a word problem, usually the domain and range of a quadratic is going to be a little bit more restricted. So the domain in this case is time can be anything <clears throat> as long as it's in between zero and seven. And then range, height can be anything as long as it's between zero and 49. So that there is the domain and range for this word problem. So notice how much more restricted it is versus if it was just a regular quadratic. <clears throat> if it was just a regular quadratic, the domain would just be TER and the range would just be the height or the Y has to be less than or equal to 49. But because height can't be negative, time can't be negative, we got to make it in between zero and seven and between zero and 49. Okay, so that's the domain and range. And then number four, how long is the rocket above 20 meters? So this question number four is gonna require a little bit more algebra. What they're asking is, let's say 20 meters is like here. So notice it hits 20 meters there and it hits 20 meters there. They're asking how long is the rocket above 20 meters? So basically we're gonna to have to find T1 when it hits 20, and then also T2 when it hits 20. And then we could take the difference between T2 and T1, and that's how long the rocket would be above 20 meters. So basically, uh, we have H equals negative 4T squared plus 20T. We have to plug in 20 for H and then solve for T in order to get these two values here. So we'd have 20 equals negative 4t squared plus 28t and then bring the 20 over so we'd have 0 equals negative 4t squared plus 28t minus 20. And then if you can, you can uh, try to factor this. This actually won't factor smoothly if you try. So what you got to do is you got to throw this in the quadratic formula. So we know the a value is negative 4, the b value is 28, and then the c value is negative 20. So basically t would be uh, negative b, so negative 28, plus or minus b squared, so 28 squared, minus 4 times the a value of negative 4 times the c value of negative 20, uh, all over 2 times negative 4. So you're going to get two solutions here when you plug all that in. And the two solutions you get in the quadratic formula are these two right here. So t equals 0 0.807 and t is equal to 6.193. So 0 0.807 will be here. And then 6.193, I'm going to erase these here would be right there. And so how long is the rocket above 20 meters? They're asking how long it's above 20 meters, not at which points it hits 20 meters. They're asking how long is it above 20 meters. So you got to take the difference between these, right? So 6.193 minus 0 0.807, that would give you 5.386. So 5.386 seconds is the answer to number four.